Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Didn't mean to knock my mic. Hello, UAC. Hello, Fringe. We're back with another expansion mod. This time for GTA 3. About to have a lot of fun here. Um, if you guys want to check out this mod, type in exclamation point um, for Rally Redemption, and you'll get a story of what the mod is about, as well as a link. So, yeah, all that good shit right there. Thanks for the tier one subscription. Team oh, I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, teenage sub. I that's right indeed. Thirteen months. Thirteen fucking months. Yeah, this also has a. Uh, this time, this mod had like a, a just like the Sinaka Chronicles mod. Um, it has options yes, where you can choose a difficulty and choose the easiest. I think the soldier difficulty uh, difficulty is the easiest. And this time around, um, I have an option to turn on the 30 frames or 60 frames per second patch too. Am I a bit quiet? Let me boost this up a bit. All right, is that better? Yeah, but like I was saying, uh, like I was saying, you know, just like with the Sendaku Chronicles mod, you know, this game has uh, difficulty options, and also now I can choose between 30 and 60 frames per second in the menu too. This shithole's supposed to be my home? Actually, on second thought, I might turn the game audio down just a tad bit. Let's watch it. I'll just... Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, this doesn't have the option for the AI generated voices this time. I guess granted, this game did not game, but this mod did come out before Sendaku uh, Chronicles, so that's fair enough. Maybe in a subsequent update or something, they'll add that option. And I really love the time cycle weather here. Just very orangey, very much akin to the. Uh, how the promotional GTA 3 was. And I think this game or mod has like a custom soundtrack too, but since I turned it off, um, Since I turned it off for Twitch reasons um, and YouTube reasons, we have the my music playing in the background instead. Hope everyone's been doing uh, well this week. We've been suffering from a huge heat wave. It's just fucking insane. Mission passed. That's great. It's still quite chilly from where you're from. Jesus Christ. You're lucky. You are indeed lucky, Fringe. I 
I assume that's like in the 60s or 70s, uh, fringe. Eighteen degrees Celsius, that is. It was like forty degrees Celsius from uh where we were from, and that's like a hundred degrees or a hundred and one degrees Fahrenheit. I was enter and watch it. Still the weapons from the Diablo goons. All right, sure enough. I had to keep a bunch of water with me at all times, man. Like, hell, even the devil was walking the earth one time and he was like, fuck this shit, I'm going back into hell. At least in hell it's cooler. Wait. Go back to Italy, you dipshit? Wow, racist. Keys here, man. I uh, know it's kind of tip. It's a bit typical. Like July and August are usually like, I guess, the highest months. Hell, like the kids are about to start school back up again too. So. That's true. And like what I'm trying to say is they have to they have to deal with this shit before they have to go back to school. You know, school time, not school time, but summer break should be like relaxing, but shit like this is just weighing on them. There you go. Hairless grin approved jam. Yeah, I heard I heard something about that. Uh fringe like Rockstar had like the website website up or some shit. Yeah, it would be. I think a Raz. He, he might have alleged that uh, it's gonna be like on RDR2's engine, and they were kind of making comparisons, I guess. But the thing is, like, yeah, they they're on the same engine, but you no, know, with RDR2, it was made for the current gen in mind, 
So it's probably gonna look like 10 times better. Source core of that game was a mess. That probably explains why there's no PC version. Shotgun this time. Looks like I more than dealt with him there. Shit. And he does have a shotgun. Picked up. Oh, wait, yeah, is it, is it there? Yeah, I picked it up. Yeah, that was pretty clean, wasn't it? Get out of here, you s- Yeah, maybe some sections will be period pieces of uh, fringe. But I don't know. We'll see. Like a section will take place, you know, during 1980 and the rest. And this section takes place in present day. Maybe something like that.
that would be dope to have like a 1970s uh, Liberty City. You can blow up if you pump it. Oh yeah. This is exactly like that mission in GTA 3. I mean, it worked for driver parallel lines was kind of like that, but that'd be great uh, if Rockstar did something like that, though. Give it a little Rockstar touch. Welcome to the stream, uh, Yacht Pog. Hope you're having a good day. This is, uh, I think, Pirelli Redemption, an expansion mod for GK3. Oh, fuck, I almost hit that fucking car. A little blew it up. Doing all right? That's good to hear. I might need to turn down, like, certain audio settings. Oh, hold on a second. And then maybe I'll crank up. Or maybe move the microphone close to my mouth. I'm going to have to get... I'm, I might need a microphone stand, uh, stand pretty soon. Like, instead of just using my default one, I could just, like, get one from Amazon or some shit. Hang on a second. Let me turn up the application audio right here. How do I select the music for my streams? Uh... This is music that I've downloaded for years, and I just come like compile it all into one play playlist. So yeah, yep. Even kind of looks like the Ganados, the porches and shit, right? But yeah, these are all music files of uh, UAC. Show them my note. I don't know what happened. Like, I doubt. So actually, as a matter of fact, the new driver is close. It's like running there. Oh shit, they stole my. Son of a bitch. Actually, I think that's supposed to happen. What am I doing? I got sidetracked there. I get the multitasking. Oh yeah, um, actually last night I played a little bit of that Titan Thrice mod and it's fucking insane. It's intense. You're from 1980? Oh, that's, 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 that's what's up. So you're in, uh, you're an 80s kid, right? I'm a I'm an 80s kid. No, I'm an 80s kid. Okay. You're an 80s kid and I'm a 2000s kid. And Fringe is a 90s kid. Probably. Yes, no, maybe so. Get back to St. Morks. I mean, it's still relatively young. It depends on, like, you know, what you define as old. Because kids on Twitch, you know, they'll call fucking 30 year olds old. Like, Hugo gets called old all the fucking time, so. Let me go save. I 
I guess Aaliyah was right uh, when she said age ain't nothing but a number. I guess it's a. I guess it is a number. You know, 30 is new 20, 40 is new 30, vice versa. No, don't go back to the fucking market. Oh yeah, and there's also seem to be a bit of quality of life improvements in this mod. Like some of these cars, like all these cars, seem to have like high quality tires and all that. And I think there's some new interiors into this mod too. But I think it's more, I guess, unique to the missions. Kaufman cabs? Probably might be Kaufman cabs. And it says a taxi company, so who knows? Maybe the same one Tommy Versetti owns. Wait, no, that's that's in fucking Florida. This is Logan City. But maybe fucking he expanded his ventures elsewhere too. Oh no, this is Mean Street Taxis. Completely different ball game. That was a complete... This is a brand new interior. I think lifted straight from Vice City too. Get to the van. Get in the van outside. There will. Cabs in a different color too. Maybe different cabs in this mod or something. I'm warning you. Freaking yuppie. Wait, no. Fuck, I wasn't supposed to leave that, wasn't I? I think I had to stay in the van and drive around fucking those locations. It's even worse in Titan Thrice, uh, cringe. Like, if you fail a mission, like, you get to fucking wah 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 music and then have, like, a mission message to tell you, oh, shameful, honestly. And shit like that. Do 
Yeah, I was afraid of hitting that police car. Because it would reinstate the stars if I did that. Now it's cloudy outside now. It's like sunny. Real night for lovers too. Real free. Maybe it'll cool off now. Real night for lovers Good luck on the heist. Get that money. Get that bread. Will. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Will. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're staying cool in this weather. Because Jesus Christ is insane. Interesting to know. I seen that Dave still doing uh was it chaos voting stuff? Hope uh, that's uh, coming along well for him. Not sure if he's streaming today or I think he might be. Or he is right now maybe. Actually no he's not streaming. Because I have his uh, chat open and chatty. And his name would be highlighted red if that happened. That's by some. So get the fuck out of here. I can just get out? Wait, I don't think I should get out. Did he drive into the water? I think he did. I think he drove into the water. Because the green dot disappeared. And he was going right. So I think he drove off the docks. Stupid fuck. Oh yeah, I, I get you, uh, Will. Thanks for the kind words. Words. Uh, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. I haven't been streaming much because uh, been busy with work and shit. So yeah, it's just yes. You know, when I get home from work, I just want to relax. Nothing else. I watch and 
sometimes you know watching i don't know the mets versus the dodgers is more interesting to me than streaming it's been all right into this watch the cut scene destroy three sentinels I'm back up too hard dude. Uh, one down, two to go. I'm gonna keep shooting that car, making my job easier. Actually, I'm probably gonna. I got. I think I have an idea. I'll shoot at the Leone car to get the guy to get out, and then I'll put these two together and blow them up with the shotty. Uh, I'm sandwiched in this motherfucker. I'm hot. Thanks, Will. I need it. Because it might be easy now, but this mod might throw me a curveball. Well, I'm playing this one, but I've never played this mod before. Uh, welcome to the stream, uh, SX. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. This is the uh, Borelli Redemption mod. If you guys want to check out this mod, type an exclamation point Borelli Redemption. It'll give you a story of what the mod's about, as well as a link if you want to play it. So, yeah. Let me swing by the gun store. Interesting, it doesn't it doesn't change camera when you uh, enter this building. And buying weapons are, is much easier than in uh Sindaka Chronicles. That's still following that GT3 uh, tradition a little bit. Alright. I'm the 
rescue this guy. Giovanni. More money, more problems. But he looks like he's wearing the convict clothes. Thanks for the 2k biddies, UAC. Really appreciate it. You are an absolute madman. Look at you go. But thanks again, UAC Chasm. Really appreciate it, man. So, Fringe, I heard that Joanna has faster reflections than Brad does. Is that true? I think it is. fish factory. I guess this is going to be one of those like survival type of missions so to speak. Oh my god. Figures. It blew the ship again. Wait. Oh wait. I forgot. This is like this takes place like you know during the GTA 3 storyline as well. Just like Sendako Chronicles. Uh, it's hose the hose 2.0 right here. Maybe it's going to be easier than that. Who knows? Just like fucking. 
can hold the whole thing for now. We'll get him next time to finish. This place about to blow up. Let me try this shit again. Let me look at the controls to see what the turret buttons are so I can uh, use them to steer. Yeah, it is. Hose to hose 2.0. Alright. It's basically the numpad button for. Five, nine, six. Let's try it again. No trouble. Hey, my cab. Again, gotta fuck this up. Yeah, I ran into that stuff, man. Holy shit. I'm like on like 15 health. Look at this stuff. Now I know what to do with the turret now. There we go. Oh shit, I switched screens. I think, uh... Probably because I have like some of the numpad controls to like switch screens. Might be investing to a screen deck, maybe. There you go. Thanks for GG. Now I knew what to do with the current controls there.
Love that Max Payne reference there. the briefs there. You're just supposed to like kill this guy. That was simple enough, simplistic enough. So we go inside the interior. It's a pretty unique interior. It's actually just the uh, Vice City interior, but it's still pretty cool. It's basically a reused asset. Shit. Now what do I call the fucking missions called Max Payne? I wonder. I see why. I can see why. Did the main character take drugs or some shit? One more guy back here. One more guys around here. Alright, dude. Does this go up? Nope. It doesn't go up. Death Ripper. Yeah, for real, man. Like, I can... It's so edgy, I can fucking feel it. Cut me. Also, welcome to the stream, uh, Curry Balls. Hope you're having a good day, or evening, or night, or wherever you're from. This is, uh, this, not the Sendaku Chronicles, the Ferrelli Redemption mod for GTA 3. Uh, you can type in Ferrelli Redemption in chat, and you'll get a link, as well as a description of what the story is about. You're kind of sick right now? Well, hope you get better. 
Got the sore throat, upset stomach. Sucks that you're sick. Because being sick's not fun at all. Yeah, I noticed I was like, this is very weird. Because this is supposed to take place in like 2001. And it's supposed to take place like during like the GTA 3 storyline, so it's kind of weird there. Yeah, I assume, I assume so. Uh, also, welcome to stream time, Versetti. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome to stream. And thanks for the 10 bits, uh, ru uh, big, rude, big Red All Day. Rudy Rude. Really appreciate it, man. Um, blow this bar up in a second. So I guess that's the Diablo man driving on the street back there. Park in front of that bar. Fuck, I dodge. Those are the brawly guys right there. I forgot that this game has like a a rainbow at the end after the rain. Nice little detail. I gotta make the song cry. Bell out like in a uh, GTA by C, so you have to go like this. There we go. There's a banshee. Still have the banshee there. Ah! Now the president might have changed it, so. Gifting a sub on something. Thanks for gifting a sub to Big Rud all day. Really appreciate you, Ak. Enjoy those sub emotes. Ricky. I also saw your video, uh, Rick. You know, 
vlogging with uh, with uh, Mommy Sean Cook. I mean Cook. Iceland. Enjoy, man. Doesn't that place, like, it's daytime all the time? Regardless of, like, it's 1 o'clock in the morning or some shit. Probably thinking of a different country, but I think either Iceland or Greenland has that. Where it's daylight all the fucking time. Don't be late to the deal. Oh, it's always Norway. Probably should have picked up a health. Okay, let's go to the docks now. Let's go. So I gotta make the song crap. Oh shit. Rocket launch a boat. So run like fuck or kill this guy. I suggest I lost all my guns too. Song's perfect for this too. You're dead. You're dead. Put well, give the man a hand, will you? I'll kill, I'll you, kill you, tough guy. guy. I suggest you run away. You're dead. Go put. I suggest you run away fast. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I'll kill you. <laughs>
go. I think they are uh, SX. I was mentioning earlier, you know, that this is one of the quality of life improvements that they seemingly added to this mod. Break it to you guys, Salvatore is dead. <laughs> also went out today and got myself a huge uh mouse pad for my desk makes moving the mouse around feel more fluid so yeah I think it's raining out there. I can hear the outside of my window. Shit. Look at my. Uh, I should be getting some packages today. Hopefully, nothing gets blown off my fucking porch. Too busy looking at my door camera. Okay, I ran into Leone. Shot that fucker in the head. How am I supposed to? God damn it. Oh, it's it warps me right uh right back here.
again. Diablo van again. Maybe kind of a bitch to get out of here. I can tell. Damn, I can't stay. I'll be spoiled. Oh shit! Sorry, Orderman. But uh, welcome to the stream. No. work. I could just drive off. I'm good. Uh, Orderman, hope uh, the same can be set for you. I thought I was going to put that van over. We're gonna wait for the, uh, the AI voices, or wait until they incorporate them. Yeah, they probably will, maybe. I think uh, Sendako Chronicles is a prequel to this. said but Sendako Chronicles will be reworked with interior cutscenes. Yeah, I don't think you mentioned that. But that's that's nice that they're doing that. You want a license too?
Dialogues as I didn't know who, was, who spoke. That's actually part of the reason why I turned on uh, the AI voices for uh, the Sendako Chronicles mod. Uh, or I think that was a uh, like Chazin that gave you the gift the sub uh, three. So shout out to him. People said that the mod is worse than Sadako Chronicles. A lot of people say the story isn't good. Yeah, that's a shame. I guess. I didn't like uh, Sadako Chronicles though. It was great. Even though there are a few things I didn't like about it.
Dead ahead, roll kill. That was a nice red cheetah. Here we go. What's that? My mother's my sister. My mother's my sister. Isn't that the racing event? Let's watch the cutscene. Stinger. It's a nice vehicle, ain't it? Oh, yeah, Titan Thrice. Uh, when you do like that race activity. Like one of those race phone activities, um, I think it forced you to race in a ice cream truck. 
so it's crazy as hell. Just watching an English Benz uh, video on it. So far in the lead right now. I guess uh, those are the Yardies. That's why uh, the Jamaican flag icons on my map. I guess before we go over there, I'm gonna I will be right back. Be right the be right back in a few minutes. So I'm save and put on the BRB screen. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I am back. Hey Fortnite, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Sorry it's been a few minutes late. Continue on. Thanks for welcome back, Fringe. Thanks for welcome back, SX. Strike back. Being great even after seeing Barbing Barbenheimer. Oh nice. Got to kill Joey Leone. Oh shit. I highly guarded this place. I'll kill you some guys. You're dead. Take a bite of the Yeah, I like I like the Barbie movie soundtrack. I thought it was pretty good. The guy has a sniper. Wanna play rough? Gotcha. Suspect on foot. Uh probably dance the night by Dua Lipa. Fortnite. Margot Robbie's great in that fucking movie too. You know, same thing with Ryan Gosling. Oh, this can be used as a safe house. Nice.
It's actually a garage, nice. Sorely a missed opportunity to, for uh, Claude to have this as a safe house. That's a modernized sample of a uh, Barbie Girl by Aqua. fun watching the Barbie movie uh, last week. And even with all like the so-called, I guess, anti-male messages, like they still have fun with it. Uh, no, I did not go see Op uh, Oppenheimer. Like the huge reason why I went out to the movie see Barbie uh, was because like I, I wanted to spite the motherfuckers that kept on saying that it's feminist propaganda and, all, and yada yada yada. I went. I had a lot of fun watching it. So, and it was like on the day it came out, like it was just on a whim. Okay, French snapper, everybody. Game just have a fucking map. This. This is like some sort of on rail section or my friend, you're going to fall off this boat, man. I think you need to be inside the boat, sir. Okay then. Sucks to be you. The dumbass did not practice you no know, safety precautions, and now look at you. I haven't been to the, you know, up to Barbie, I haven't been to the movie since last year when I went to go see Top Gun Maverick. a lot of fun watching that film too. Just 
Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Detective Pikachu. And I think uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, voiced the Pikachu. Doing his classic comedic shtick. Like usual. Alright, see you soon, Fringe. Smashing into... Oh shit, all them voices, man. Place have a this island have a safe house? I don't think it does. Yeah, I'm not sure if it does. Unless that's a safe house. I guess there is a safe house on this island. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there is a safe house on this island. It's, it's like right next to the location. Uh, Right next to the location of uh, where Tony Cipriani's uh, house is at. Yeah, that and the uh, the stuff that usually request uh, Fortnite. And the stuff that you talk about, Fortnite, and the artists you talk about. I was wondering why the fucking mission wasn't starting, though. Listen to this, or watch it. It was pretty weird to just read the, the read the dial, not re yeah, read the dialogue. Instead of just your AI voices. I could probably read it, but I'm a bit tired to read them, so. subway just saw a little bit of blue hell there
Speak to the guard of the compound. Give me a good car on the street. Police car? This, I guess I'll take this crap and sock him on here. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Couple days until August. That crazy? Oh, I think I need a specific card. I mean, not card. A card, not card. Or I can just get out and do that. Oh damn, Fortnite! You're getting up there, aren't you? Lizzie. Pathetic! I kill you! Yeah. Kind of the same here, but I'm more on the old music spectrum, Fortnite. Okay, uh... We can look at the briefs. Find Queen Lizzie. Okay, so. Oh, I'm fucking bent. She's in a van. Could just said find the van with Queen Lizzie. Instead of just saying find Queen Lizzie. Make a make uh, made that situation a lot more easier. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> right. Love how the mod also incorporates the PS2 uh, plot animation. Alright, let me go save and uh, do more of these missions. Birthday present. Find an ice cream truck. Where can I find one? I think on the first island, maybe. So, a quick second on my phone. Look up the uh, location, usually uh, where the ice cream trucks usually spawn at. Chinatown, Portland View, St. Mark's, and Cedar Grove. One second. Hold up, guys. This will be a minute. Starting to. 
Welcome back, friends. I'm just trying to find an ice cream truck right now for this mission. I could probably go to go around Cochran Dam. What the hell is Witch Witch to Gardens? Hope you enjoyed your uh pee. Actually, let me, go to, let me just go to the first island. Like, since uh, this game does have a map, I'm just go to Portland. Hey Cole Assassin, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. Ice cream trucks around here. Okay, okay, we hey, this might be one of the areas they might spawn in. find a fucking ice cream truck man some wild shit here yeah man I can't find a fucking ice cream truck around right here man Hmm. I don't think right now. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm back again. About two weeks since I haven't done any sort of stream here so i'm back again and i think uh, the last time i streamed live i was playing battle gate tony 
So let's continue on with Pharrell Redemption because I want to finish this up. Hey Jedi, hope you're having a good day, friend. Uh, hope you've been well since I haven't spoke to you in a long time. In a second. In a second, guys. Hopefully the game isn't too loud or nothing. I make sure my audio settings are fine. I think last time I did this, uh, I was doing a mission where I needed an ice cream truck. And I couldn't find one, but I did manage to find one offline, so... I went to like a place where it has a big spawn and I decided to steal it and save it to my garage. That way I can use it for this mission. Instead of just, you know, trying to hunt it down and shit. So it's, it's much uh, more simpler that way. So I said, fuck it. Hopefully all the audio settings are fine. You guys can hear me well. You can hear the music. You can also hear the game. If not, then I can just alt tab and kind of just, you know, kind of just switch it up. Good time on the stream. Hey, Yuak. Uh, good to see your homie. Playing the uh, Rally Redemption mod. I want to finish that up before I do anything else. And I think uh, my next stream would, will probably be GTA 5 on the 360. Um, to celebrate the 10 year anniversary. Um, cannot believe it's been 10 years since that game came out. So it'll be interesting to play it on the 360, the, the uh, console that I first played that game on. Hey, Hamp, good to see you here. Wait, what's the brief? Usually hangs out in the subway. Hope everything's been good with you. Thanks for good luck and half fun, Hamp. Good to see you. Good to see you here, UAC. Good to see you here, Jedi. It's one big happy family. I guess one person that's missing is a uh, fringe. It's usually here first. Oh, Ryan Natty's streaming. That's another person he watches a lot. Speak to the guard at the compound. I had to turn up the volume on the music. I can't even hear it. A second. Favorite series of games seem to be Dead Rising. And Brian Natty is pretty good at the game. I think he's also like his VIP or mod in the chat or some shit. Hey, Jen. I hope you're having a good day, Jen. What's up? Good to see you here. Oh yeah, I think I need to get a car and infiltrate this place.
But they're shooting each other, they're not shooting me. But they're shooting me and each other. Watch my back. Is this Queen Lizzie? I think it is. stream again. You learn to drive. You learn to drive. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you guys want to check this mod out, type in exclamation point for Rally Redemption mod and you'll get a link to the mod as well as a brief description of what the mod is about. Birthday present. Oh, I forgot that uh, some some missions are kind of phone call initiated, so it should work. Hold on a second, let me. Like it should work now. Like it should work. Let me open up a uh, Streamlabs. Oh, I don't have it enabled. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's me being a dumbass. Sorry, guys. I haven't streamed in two weeks, so... Hey Sunset, good to see you here, friend. Has been a while indeed. Welcome, welcome. And I guess if I need to find another ice cream truck, I, I can just go back to that same fixed spawn and uh, get it. The hell up. Awesome. After graduate graduating, which I did, got myself a job, been there for three weeks. Well, GG. Hope you are uh my money, my problems. Oh yeah, I forgot I, had, I still have the float shit enabled. Um Hope you've been uh, doing well at your job, uh, Sunset. It's that heart from the fucking map. Yeah, I've been all right. Just trying to get through it is all. Talk about the in-game sound effects, then... Uh, Sorry, I guess.
been trying to get better. Yeah, it's all you can do is your best, right? Been trying to like go to the gym more and, and stuff like that. Hey, Fortnite, good to see you here, homie. Wait, what did the brief say? Just got over a sickness. Got left over now, but doing better. Hey, that's good. What matters is that you're doing better. You ain't getting no longer sick. Smack up. Smack my bitch up. Yeah, I used to eat those a lot whenever I was a child. Those were fucking scrumptious. I might I might raise the quality of the stream. I forgot that I turned down the quality to counter. The uh, shitty Wi Fi. Hang on a second. Let me raise the quality. I mean, those are good to eat, but not every single day. Gain weight like that. Get high cholesterol and shit. Deal with the. I think this my kind of incorporates some of the, I guess, beta elements. Shit. The sky looks very similar to how GTA 3 looking is. Beta stage. This car is probably faster. Or, I get them at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I think they sell those at Dollar Tree too. I've had those fudge rounds before. I don't think I've had them. Not sure if I had them. I probably have. Guess I I kill all these people on the map. I haven't had those ch chicken biscuit crackers before. Yeah, it's been You have to destroy all these vehicles. My ears suck and I can hardly hear you over the game's explosions. I'm sorry. I guess I can turn down the sound a little bit. Yeah, but the explosions can be pretty loud in this game. That's why Hugo always says, like, um... Hugo always says, cover your ears and shit like that, because the explosions are pretty loud.
kill. I think I kill all these guys. They start blasting on me as soon as I as, as soon as I pull up. Yeah, move on. Having a little yogurt and, sk and skittles. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I used to have shit like that. Uh, two uh, Jedi. Like the like the yogurt with the uh, Oreos and and M and M's and shit like that. It's so good. Was it by Yo Plate? He found us, boss. Kill him. There's also a rampage icon here. Have you decided on what? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't even thought about the rewards for diamonds and shit like that because I've been dealing with shit in my personal life, so. Yeah, haven't decided what I was going to do yet. Uh, maybe sound rewards, most likely. That's going to be a likely thing. Maybe custom Discord role or some shit. Rip Jin. Oh, fuck, I forgot her name. Oh, yeah. It's a shame she passed away, though. Geo fine. Uh, one of the singers from Roxette the uh, band that's playing right now with the song uh, Jedi I think she died from cancer or some shit
Did one drive into the water or some shit? I don't know it nothing's changed uh Jedi I think there's a garage down here. I can't get out the car because if I get out the car I'll explode. Joanna was streaming earlier, uh, just playing uh, Last of Us Part 2. Oh, she's been uh, having fun with that. It's been months since I uh, gave uh, the story of that game a go. Like, last time I played through a story fully was back in January. I played it for the first time ever. I think that heart in the map is uh, the, are the Diablos. I checked last time. That was Staunton. Yesterday just turned September. One month closer to October. Because fall is my favorite season. Well, technically, the first day of fall is like on the 22nd. But still. I'm tired of this hot ass air, man. I'm over this shit. <laughs> Ready for it to start cooling down. For good. I think like the last day was actually hot. When it started cooling down, it was like in late September here. Which I'm, I was perfectly fine with. Hey, it's all about the hunt.
We'll have to get in here for. Head to the docks. It's gonna be one of those deal gone gone wrong type of situations. And we'll see. Oh yeah, and Jedi, uh, I seen about, I just got done finishing just about all the seasons of 24, completely at this time. I, mean, I started on Legacy, but I was like, uh, not a huge fan of it. So what's this? Love told me. Carl. No one ever does. Like they try to give it like a reboot like approach with Legacy. But I felt like it would have worked better with like maybe Kate Morgan or Tony because they are very similar to Jack Bauer. Especially Tony, since, you know, he could be, you know, Jack's brother at this point. Like, he's lost everything. And has a... And he's a lot crazier. He's a little bit, he's a little bit more extreme than Jack, so... Wait, what am I supposed to do? I guess like do I keep let me see. I guess I... Do I keep driving south? You know, like race? I guess I have to like go to a specific area or some shit. It says I go south somewhere. It's located south of the city, so... Yeah, I do too. Played by the All State guy. No sec, guys. Let me grab my phone. Sorry guys, I'm kind of just, uh, figuring out how to fucking do this mission. It's like the first 
Oh, I think I need to blow it up. That's probably why. I think I might need to blow that up. Of a brain fart. Now we're now we're on the right page. Let me catch you looking at her again. Let me catch you looking at her again. I'm not. Let me catch you looking at her again. I'm sorry. Let me I'm not fucking sure. catch you looking at her again. I'll fucking drag you down Rodeo by your fucking ass. Just fucking stomp you. I'll fucking curb stomp I'm you. I'm sorry. I'll fucking curb stomp you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sure what you were interpreting, but let me see I wasn't it. Doing anything. Let me see it. Such a convenient bribe star right there. Imagine if like this uh, mission was on a timer. I guess I can like, get on top of that and toss a grenade over and blow it up. Season 8 with 24 is just fucking intense. Love it. Crap. These guys are coming on droves. Yeah, like Jack Bauer basically basically became Tony. You think about this. Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome to the stream, uh, Just Win Baby. Having a good day. Welcome, welcome. Playing the uh, Barrel Redemption mod. Jesus Christ. Get up. I gotta go back and play this. You should. This mod, and I guess this game too. Awesome. For real, Jedi. You became like this unstoppable killing machine after he lost his girl. I need to get in the fucking car. I steal a car from the garage and then uh, Jesus. That stallion. It's not fast car, but it'll do. It doesn't fucking matter. I need to. I need something to get the pain spray with. Go, 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 go. Another convenient bribe star.
man, the five stars, like, where shit really starts to, you know, hit the fan. Man. Almost threw up last Thursday at the gym. Why? You, like, ate something funny or something? Or were you working yourself too hard? Yeah, I figured. Yeah, you try and wait too hard to be like CJ from San Andreas. Have you buff like him? Take this nice banshee too. Sexy, sexy. I was leg pressing. I think at the angle I was in, the blood was pooling in my head or something. To the garage, like blowing up with some shit by these guys. Soon. Oh, there's a funeral going on. Oh, you were looking pale. Bet you were. You're trying way too hard, and then I guess you spun out in the process. You look pale as a down baby, man. in the family. Best thing I did was lay down a best bench press button. Alright, this bridge is like my nemesis when I do like hard fucking missions. Especially when I'm trying to escape the cops. Did I get cock blocked by this thing? Alright, and, and um, <clears throat> short side bail is finally unlocked. Let's see what missions uh Courtney has for us. I think there's another uh, unique thing like that in, the, in that mission. I have no clue how far I am with this mod. I have no clue. I want to say maybe closer to the end, but I'm not entirely sure. But I know I'm like more than halfway in the story. I'm over. Wanna check this mod out, type in Ferelli exclamation point Ferelli Redemption mod. Uh gives you a link of the mod as well as a brief description of what the mod is about. Oh, this is the house that uh we meet Catalina. No major issues. Oh, Catalina.
For real, man. It's fucking worst. Especially when, you know, when, like, the throwing up just, it just throws, like, a boulder at you without warning. It's like, fuck, man. Like, you could be eating something, and then, like, the next minute, that, that very thing does not agree with you, and then, next thing you know, you're running to the toilet. It's just, uh... Wait, where am I supposed to go? Fat Lance. I think the last time I was sick was, uh, last Christmas. And I got th this, like, stomach bug from my father. And I was sick as a fucking dog. And the fucked up thing was, you know, it was literally a year after I got COVID. Around Christmas time. I'm like, what the fuck? Is this about to be, like, a yearly tradition? Me getting sick on Christmas? It's just super fucked up. Is this like... I thought the fucking cutscene was soft lock for a second. I was getting scared. As you hit enter. COVID's kind of been a non-factor for the past couple of years, so I guess something had to take its place. I keep forgetting that this game does not have a map. Wait a second. I could probably Like I usually do whenever I do the final mission of this game. I just gotta be careful not like flip the car over or nothing. Or I can just do this instead. This is where uh, Tony Cipriani has safe house at whenever he enters a short side veil. <clears throat> Who's a tough guy? Think about him. Like not have a name, just who's a tough guy? Who's this guy? It's the headphone guy. <laughs> Every time you walk past him. Oh no. Here they come. Gunning towards me too.
piece of cake. Great, now Callie knows where the whole thought is. There's a safe house down there. Two more Catalina missions. I guess like if I finish this uh, today I might switch over to Balagay Tony so I can do some more of those uh, drug war missions. Because those were really fun to do. Blue moon? Wasn't there like a blue moon a few days ago? Didn't see it, but I've been hearing about it. Great show. I used to watch that show all the time, Jen. Good show. It lasts like two, three seasons. It's kind of one of those shows that you forgot about, but something pops up and then it just, you know, gets in plain view. Oh, yeah. Not gonna work with you Colombian pricks. So start shooting at police officers to raise the wine level. Who the fuck is in this? There's nobody in there. I call the fucking Ghostbusters. Keep on 
crazy in one level. And this guy will be shitting his pants in no time. I guess like this meter will gradually raise as uh, time goes on. So I'm uh, not gonna push my luck. I was definitely doing the time when cartoons started just not in the same for you anymore. I'd probably say around 2008-2009 is when cartoons weren't hitting the same with uh, for me. And that's also around the time when uh, fucking like Cartoon Network tried to introduce this live action block and it failed miserably. It was called like CN Real or some shit. I remember looking at this stuff, I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? I'm like, what's destroy, build, destroy? What's all these brain surge and all this bullshit? Yeah, Andrew WK, quite the character. Like, ever since then, I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to Cartoon Network. I've heard about, you know, regular show at Advent Adventure Time. That's about it. I heard that those were some pretty good shows, evidently. Yeah, I get you. I finished the Clone Wars animation. Another Cartoon Network uh, original series. At least I think it was. I remember seeing the promos for that. One hundred thirty-four episodes. I mean, it's been around for a long time, hasn't it? I'm warning you. The Bad Batch. I guess it's part of the Star Wars lore or universe. God damn! It's been on forever, shit. Yeah, and Disney kind of has something to do with that too, because remember back in like 2014, 2015 when they bought Lucasfilm and Fox and all that? You know, they started putting more uh, Star Wars content out there. I think that I heard, you know, some positive things about the show The Mandalorian it has uh, Pedro Pascal and uh, Katie Sackhoff, uh, the chick that played Dana Walsh on 24.
for real. Hey, uh, Black Pantherist, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Haven't seen you in a while, around in a while. Hope everything is fine with you. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I think I need to go over to the other island. Get over to uh, Portland. I think it's Portland. Because that's where the construction sites are. Uh, by the way, I'm playing a mod, which is essentially an expansion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see you after ads. Hope that old ass doc is still around, not biting the dust. Please don't tell me this is like fucking what is it? Purple haze from Vice City Stories. Fucking, I should have took the tunnels. Whatever, it's too late. It's too late now. I think those fuckers poisoned me. Those fuckers fucking poisoned me. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. This fucking bridge. Throws a monkey wrench into everything. Almost forgot that this was Labor Day weekend, so I hope everyone's having a good Labor Day weekend, three day weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a whole lot for uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing all right. Uh, hope the same can be said for you. Put that card down there. Oh, come on! Catch up. Let them catch up and take them out. Take take all these fucking guys out. I don't have any, I don't have a gun. I don't have an Uzi. I did my dumb ass not go to the gun store. Alright, by the way, I'm playing this mod for GTA 3, which is an expansion on the story. Play as new characters, new story missions. A lot. If you want to check out the mod, type an exclamation point for Rally Redemption mod, you'll see the... Link to might as well as a description of it. They gotta be the track sheet around here. Christ. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, Saints Row 2 Jam indeed. Also an underrated track too. Get out! HP does this fucking guy have? Yeah, I heard about Volition. What happened? Guess after the sales of the Polarizing Saints Row 2022, they're like, nope, let's, cut, let's pull the plug on this. But honestly, what did they expect after, you know, calling people who criticized Saints Row, uh, the Saints Row reboot is uh, haters. Turns out they wanted to make a good Saints Row game. It was Deep Silver that made making that shit. They end up re releasing. I guess I, I guess that kind of makes sense. Come on, let's go. I want you passing out, man. Come on, let's go. It's just like fucking. Was it Purple Haze from Vice City Stories? Alright. 
fuck is the marker? I'm here. There we go. Because I remember uh, Mr. Saints Godzilla. He uh, released a video when he first initially saw the reboot trailer, and he said it was nothing like that. So it makes total sense. It makes total sense why uh, you know it went the way it did. But I tried to give the game a, the benefit of the doubt, but. After playing it for five, six hours, all my issues I had with the game were elevated. I was like, I can't keep playing this bullshit, man. Uh, exclamation point playlist, uh, Black Panthers. It'll get a link to the Spotify playlist. Even though, uh, all this music here is all, they're all MP3 files, and the one that I have on Spotify is based off of that, so... I remember that gameplay trailer they released. You're welcome. You are welcome. Uh, Black Panthers. I remember that gameplay trailer they released. Looked interesting. Then I heard the story was fucking dumb. Yeah. Like, the whole premise of the story just did not intrigue me. And then, like, all the other shit, like the bugs and glitches. And, like, you know and the weird shit I had to do in this game, and like, I, and, and the fucking cringy ass dialogue. Like, I, like, the person I had uh, for the character, like, as he was driving his way to the city, he was just ranting about fucking horse balls. I'm like, what the fuck? This is peak humor? Like, what? This is fucking peak humor. And I remember I complained about, I mentioned that on my Twitter. Like, I quote retweeted somebody by saying, like, this is one of the problems I have with the game. But, like, some random person came out and he was like, Oh, imagine being offended over that. I'm like, no, bitch, I'm not offended. The shit was lame. <laughs> it wasn't funny, man. <laughs> it wasn't funny. I'm like, come on, man. I just was not a huge fan of the Saints for a reboot. Can't believe it's been about a year since it came out. And about the, like the Saints Row 2 PC patch, I guess they're still working on it. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe was it Gearbox Studio kind of took over the helm, but I guess only time will tell. I guess the only thing to like a functional PC port without any crash or anything, you know, is by emulating it with the the Xenia emulator. But I gotta say that Saints Row 1 runs like a beauty on the Xenia emulator. No slowdowns, no nothing. Which is crazy because like I remember a year ago, about a year ago, um, actually no, two years ago, it was barely playable. Like I couldn't play it for 10 minutes without it crashing. And it was lagging and stuff, so my hat goes off to the people at you know the Xenia team who are putting in the work, making shit possible. Crazy what happens when people actually do some fucking work on shit. Yeah, for real. And how fast of a progress the Xenia emulator has been coming along is just mind boggling. Carnage. Everything's still going well on my uh, OBS. I think I have like 0 0.3 frames dropped, but everything's going on my end.
Uh, it's fine. It's uh, pretty decent. I mean, I think there's a couple things I don't like about it, but I kind of like it. I might like the Sendako Chronicles better, though. I'm not sure. Had a bit more of a quality production value to it. Shake up the car show. down there to kill. It's a lot of HP. I guess they also change like the amount of damage you can do with these weapons too. Where they raise the HP a little bit. Right. Get him out of the car. All right. But don't kill him. Son of a bitch! I need a car. I guess his pony will be okay. Yeah, especially since, you know, cars are so prone to being blown up easily. Like, two taps of a car will have it already smoking. That's probably the most frustrating thing. Particularly when, like, later in the original game, if you go in this area, like, these fuckers will be on their guard. And they're ready to blow up your car. Hey, Ricky. I need to check out the Clerks movies since I've heard a lot of positive things about you know, the Clerks movies. Might check them out. I think I have them on DVD, so I might need to give them a watch. Hey, uh, hope you're doing uh, fine, Ricky. I'm doing well. Don't. Please get the fuck out the car. Good thing it didn't blow up, because I'd be sad if I had to do that again. She's the mother of my children. I guess there's my uh, marathon right there if I uh, decide if I want to like go on like a clerk's marathon. And then I think there's this TV show as well that are based off of movies. Not sure if uh, you guys uh, watch LA Beast, but. Uh, he went to like all the locations of uh, the movies, of the Clerks movies. I guess body ain't working right now. Uh, what's wrong, uh, Fortnite? Oh, I, I think I meant to, forgot to turn on the cloud box.
There was a live action Clerk series, but it went nowhere past. Basically had nothing to do with the movie and sucked. That's a rip. Yeah, I think I didn't turn on the cloud belt. That's probably why uh, you're not getting nothing. Those fucking boxes in that alley. I think those boxes in that alley are kind of are replaced with a ramp in the Titan uh, Thrice mod. Like I played a little bit of that Titan Thrice uh, off stream, and it's pretty brutal. It is pretty brutal. There are some live act Disney live action movies that are okay. Aladdin was okay, live action. Uh, have you seen the Little Mermaid uh, Fortnite? And have you heard about was it Snow White? The live action version of those. I think at the time with those uh, directed video movies. Um, those were kind of like the bread and butter. Like all and this was like before they found their niche with the uh, with the live action remakes. Got that right, Jen. I just hope it's not as bad as compared to the bad live action movies I saw so far. Yeah, I was never all that into the live action reboots or remakes or whatever. Especially since, you know, they essentially kind of <clears throat> are just retreads of the original movies. I think the only live action Disney movie I see I saw was a uh, Beauty and the Beast. It was all right. I think uh, Emma Watson did a good job playing that role. I think her name was Belle. I saw a post talking about direct Disney with the video sequels, old oh, man. Like a Reddit post or something, or a Twitter post. I think the only direct video movies I saw were uh, from Disney were, was it, that 101 Dalmatian sequel? And a few others. Was it the Lion, the Lion King, Simba's Pride, or some shit? And then there was like a prequel called like 1.2 or 0 0.5, whatever the fuck it's called. Comparing the animation more specifically, Hunchback 1 versus 2, compared to 1, 2 looked like it was, an it was animated by amateurs. I mean, I guess that somewhat makes sense because, you know, it's a much lower budget. So, animation is not going to be as fuck. It's not going to be as fuck. Yeah.
it's not going to be as advanced as uh, the original movie because it's on a much higher budget. <laughs> <sighs> they outsource that stuff to TV animators. Ah. Is that bridge is in the gap right there. I got all your own defense needs. This song is like one of the most quintessential, I guess, YouTube era, late 2000s YouTube era. This and uh, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. A couple others, too. It almost seems like every single YouTube video had Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Just crazy. Oh yeah, and Bodies. Or anything Drowning Pool related, too. 101 Dalmatian Street. I guess it's like a spin-off TV show or some shit. It's not only that Disney was doing live action movies today, they even did TV spin-offs too. Speaking of live action movies, I think the only live action movie that I genuinely loved was the 101 Dalmatians uh, uh, 1996 remake. And I like how they did not make the dogs talk like, you know, you can, you know, when the dogs, you know, they say stuff, the Dalmatians, they say stuff, they basically use their body language you can it's almost akin to tom and jerry where you can basically you know see what they're saying by like body language oh yeah and glenn close you know she absolutely killed it as uh as a uh, as corella so i had a brain fart there like she break she you know Basically, fucking exaggerate Corella. Became a cartoon of a cartoon, essentially. kind of ate but it was a bit of a mess i guess they tried to do it they tried to make it similar to uh was it uh roger rabbit with all the cartoons kind of you know crossing over and shit I forgot what it's called like the uncanny sonic or some shit and i also saw like randy from south park in that movie They also poked fun at like Robert Zemeckis for his Uncanny Valley uh, art style they used for some of his movies, his animated movies like uh, Christmas Carol, uh, Polar Express, and was it Beowulf? Peter Pan was in there too. But it's not the Neverland, Peter. French Stallion. Here one for 14 months. Just, Just about, about made it home, it to, home lurk. to lurk. Well, welcome. Oh yeah, I forgot. You did, you know, a while back said that uh, you were going to like go out with some friends or some shit. So, yeah. But good to see you here, Fringe. We were just talking about uh, that Chippendale movie. Stranger Things fans in the chat. It's 
crazy that this song came out in the 80s, but still sounds very modern. It doesn't sound like it came out in the 80s. It's a pretty timeless song. It's understandable why it blew up again. You know, Stranger Things has always been that show that incorporated a lot of great 80s music. Yeah, and, and, then, and then like, you know, my local radio station was uh, playing that song. I was like, oh, it's nice to hear, you know, an old song kind of resurface and become popular than ever. <clears throat> Pearl Summer is being popular too. I was about to say uh, the song by Bananarama, but you're talking about the Peace Swizzle song. It's a, business. it's a bit of a sleeper hit. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, after, this, after, this, after four years. Well, that's fine, I guess. Let's go back to the gun store, stock up on weapons and shit so I can be ready to blow up some Yakuza's. Might check out uh, Taylor's version of uh, 1989 when it comes out. You saw that she thing? had some uh, promotional stuff for it, as well as like, you know, a pre-order for vinyl. So I'm curious to see uh, how uh, all, all the hits from that album sound after almost a decade. save again even though I did already save I'm gonna save again and I failed the mission but I wouldn't be able to have all these all these weapons and stuff whenever I start you know the next let's start this mission again I'm gonna be ready for these guys what are some other songs that blew up besides uh, despite that they released last few years of soul. Uh, Good as Hell by Lizzo. Even though I came, that, you know, became popular again in like 2020, 2019. And it came out in 2016. It was, it was included on the Barbershop uh, 3 soundtrack. But for whatever reason, it became, it became uh, popular. I guess uh, after Truth Hurts and Juice blew up, that song blew up. And we got about damn time last year. Let's try this again. You guys are quick on our feet. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I just heard it while getting some snacks before my next class in college. Alright, let's go full force and these fuckers are running open. Get blown up again by the shoddy. I have to switch cars because it's already smoking. better this time.
I love how these fuck these dumbasses keep you know keep on driving despite the fact their car is on fire. You're just sitting there like acting like nothing's going on. And then that fucking car just explodes. Oh no. Well, the safe. Is this the most hardest mission or was it the last mission? Probably one of the, one of the last missions. I'm kind of just doing shit in autopilot. Take a quick restroom break after I go save. If I can get to the fucking safe house and not blow up or nothing. <laughs> yeah, it certainly lives up to its fucking name, Carnage. Alright, BRB. Damn, Daniel! Back at it again with the white vans. I am back, guys. Let's continue on with this shit. I have no idea how long we... Uh, how far we are in the story. I have no clue. It's completely clueless. Let's see what uh, Donald Love's mission has to offer. Dark Pursuit. Like, this is gonna be taking place at night or some shit. Without much trouble, unless that uh, bridge has a god damn man. Unless that bridge throws a monkey wrench at us. These guys. I might have to take the tunnels. Those M16s fucking scare me. Oh, God. Didn't really help me. I think I can still get out the car. You know. Should I have to? Um, when it starts catching fire. Get moving. Let's get moving. Moving and grooving.
think the only real benefit that the going through the tunnel has is that <clears throat> you don't have to wait on the bridge. So. Don't flip. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I guess that bridge is in the gap uh, with uh, Love's disappearance in GTA 3. Because remember, after doing like the final mission where you have to like lead the cops away from the house, uh, you go to his crib and he's not there. Says me at Villa, but I don't know. Look at the. Hey, it's Giorgio. We haven't seen each other in a while. It's me at your villa. I assume that's on the very first island. Yeah, I think for sure uh, GTA 5 and the 360 will be next after after this. If I finish today early, I might just throw in some uh, game rules. We'll see. It's been about almost two hours, so we'll see. I'm not entirely sure yet. I kind of just make up shit as I go. There's an F icon on the, on the map, so... Actually, I haven't saved yet, so <clears throat> let me go save first, and then do the mission. I think that's the mission, but this right here is where I save. There we go. Alright, can I start the mission or what? Six gun loads. Rescue Giorgio. Remember Giorgio? Remember he's innocent? Let's 
go. Oh, the subway's open. See, that's a unique thing, this mod. trucking along. Those are all the thugs in the Subway. So I guess after GTA 3 storyline, he dies. That's new. Guards coming after me, no Leone goons. I have a feeling that something else is gonna happen after I do this. <clears throat> Those muscles push that shit in. All right. Hope you mean this time. Damn it. Guess I'll take the Patriot to the mansion. I did not mean to start a side mission. But this is a pretty unique uh, side mission, though. I'll just drive to the mansion. No trouble for me. Who's your daddy? Wow, very, very blunt fucking mission directions are. You left your car, you idiot. Guess it uh is a territory with classic Rockstar. Is out there pretty brutal. Yeah, I heard that so many people have been cutting ties with Scooter Braun. As they should. That guy is a fucking leech. I didn't know fucking Transfender existed in GK3. This pink color. 
technically it does since uh, the transfender uh, interior is used for the uh, is not the not transfender but the Joey Leone's garage interior is used for transfender so I guess that makes sense with uh, Danny Lovato and Ariana. I had no idea that they What's were. That no ah! Heard that uh, Danny Lovato uh, uh, re-recorded some of her songs with a rock edge to it. I have a couple of them in my playlist. So. I like, and I like the rock versions better. Probably because uh, rock is probably one of my top two favorite genres. Go next to hip hop. <clears throat> he could follow suit with that, uh, uh, Fortnite. Who knows? In the Navy. He should. Because Scooter Braun is the leech. He's quite the leech. I think he's in the subway. Oh, yeah. Go to the boiler in the metro subway. What is this damn smell? Why did I get the feel? It's, this kind of feels like a boss fight level. I don't know if it's because of all the Silent Hill and Resident Evil games I played, but I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. Oh yeah, I think I heard about that. Particularly... Adina Men Menzel. She cut ties with the uh, Scooter Braun. It's probably harder than the fucking boss fight. Because, man, this is quite the maze I have to run through. Oh, actually, what's that? It's not that hard. Find the robbers. They stole the... Well, Kanye knew. Guess he didn't want to, you know... Fall victim to that as well.
Nothing here. It's a nice little interior. Even though it's only just reused from Vice City. But I still think it's pretty cool. I was afraid if I stole that police car, I'll get ultra cop. <laughs> At least I fucking saved. At least I saved. At least I saved. Um. <laughs> well, shit, I already had my karma, Fortnite. I can't get into this marker. Thank God. I already seen this cutscene. So I don't need to. I can't skip it. Whatever. I guess I'll just watch this shit again. Kesha also dealt with uh, Scooter Braun as well, if I uh, recalled. Hey, welcome to Stream Stalking You. Hope you are having a splendid Labor Day weekend. Welcome, welcome. Looking at a uh, Fortnite. Yep, Fortnite version. There's a place you can go. How do I end the edge? At least the, the good thing about doing this mission again, at least uh, going through that maze will be a lot easier this time around because I know what to do. Nice, this is like a wine cellar.
Hey, spaceman, how you doing? Good to see you here. Still uh, continuing on with this unique mod for the game. Kind of want to finish it. Hope you're having a good evening, a good Labor Day weekend. Not sure if you guys are celebrating over there. I don't know who you are and I don't give a fuck. Speaking of which, I'm going to be making a PFP with a Midnight album cover as my Discord PFP. Go for it. Go for it. For Some of down here. I'm going to come on, you on your I am. Kiss your ass goodbye. I do keep your mind. Heart. Do you know who I am? This is 10 11. I do kickboxing. It's fine to attend E. Take E for Chinatown. Here. Again. And this time I gotta be quick on my fucking feet. No bullshitting around. I'm not taking that slow ass perennial. Hey, stop! Oh, get wrecked, bitch. There's no uh, AI voice acting or nothing, just silent cutscenes. Go, go, go. Driving like this is a fucking Sunday drive, and nothing's happening. That car to flip over. I wanted that car to flip over. There you go. Ah, son of a bitch. I was supposed to do that. Let's try it again. So far, this is probably the hardest mission. I want to hear some random dude recording lines in his back trying to sound like a mock. <laughs> yeah. But I think uh, this mod was released before um, Sendako Chronicles, which explains the lack of voice acting. No. Uh, Sendako Chronicles has AI, and this doesn't. Have to sit through this fucking cutscene again. I can't skip it. It always cracks me up when uh, people do mods like this and they try to sound like a tough guy. It always cracks me up. 
knowing full damn well they're probably in their boxers or something recording these lines with, with like a Walmart ass microphone. Second Michael Jackson song to go. I'm starving him. Let me see. Okay, we make a deal. Go, let's go, let's go. Shout out to Will, uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Fighting was a fool. Third time's a charm. Hopefully so. This is my third time doing this mission. I heard that Sony, uh, they released a Spider-Man 2 edition of the PS5, man. Jesus, it looks fucking dope as shit. It looks fucking awesome. Always love those little exclusive consoles. These look so nice. Wait, let's go, let's go, let's go. I was on my game this time. No fucking around, I knew what to do this time. Sprint at it before it took off. Let's go. Get into the fucking market this time. All right, uh, Hampa, take it easy, friend. Hope you have a good rest of your fine evening, kind sir. And I will be seeing you later. Let's 
save and then uh continue on or whatever. Bro, Hamp, thank you for the five gifted subs to Emmy, uh, Loco, RS Loco, and Joanna the Girl Gamer 3, Big Fat Spaceman, and Mama19. Really appreciate it, man. Absolutely appreciate it. Your support helps a lot. Yeah, I think uh, that's a three month sub, uh, Spaceman. I think I made it good. Guess I'll just do other shit until, uh. Until I get my main mission, so to speak. Six rounds of road ro to it. So is this like a side mission? <laughs> Round over. I mean, the fighting mechanics are pretty simplistic. So I guess it is kind of easy to beat this. We'll see, because uh, this mod might throw a boulder at us without warning, so we gotta be on our guard and not fuck around here. Uh, it's Kanbu from Kanbu Bust Out. Red Yard. <laughs> I haven't played much of the Fight Club in Valley Gay Tony, but I guess it's similar to that. If not the same, but similar. Oh, hopefully I did not fail. Fuck. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. But I assume that's like a side mission or something. Uh, continue on with the the, the, the Courtney missions. So. That's probably a side mission, like the phone mission, shit like that. I guess I didn't need to finish all the gang missions before I uh, move on and do other shit. Or until I get new missions, at least. Since I'm up here, I'm gonna stack up on ammo. And we 
replenish my uh, armor. I don't need it, so any ID. You look trustworthy. Of course I do. I think I'm gonna say you can do <laughs> Welcome, uh, out of lurk mode, Fringe. Hope you are having a good night over there in the UK. And I hope you had fun, you know, while you're out partying with your mates. A family party. Go good side one. Not the side where everyone gets drunk and aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. It's not fun by getting pissed, it's fun by having people dance in dinosaur costumes. Goddamn, Fringe, this, that new Jurassic Park movie, or Jurassic World movie, looks lit. All has is da dancing dinosaurs and shit. Oh no. There's always all the all these fucking missions are just ambush this, ambush that. I didn't get I didn't get a chance to shoot the guy. Or even switch my weapon to kill him. All or nothing. Weak ass, stupid ass got killed. I saw Joanna streaming earlier. Uh, I think she's she was streaming Last of Us Part Two, but earlier she's streaming a, a GTA San Andreas run. So it's cool to see her get back. Uh, to that. It's also cool to see her play Last of Us Part 2. Of course. Let's move on, big man. Okay, big man. Hope I have a fucking chance to shoot the guy this time. Wait, no.
can't even skip the cutscenes, so they're unskippable. Oh, I'll, I'll be okay. Awesome. Break on through to the other side. Oh, I think he has a two M16s in his hand. So loud. I can't, even, I can't even hear my own thoughts. Let's get this paint spray. Because the, the FBI guys are gonna be on their shit tonight. Trusty Bribe Star once again conveniently placed there. Yes, uh, actually, no, not the sh not the chat bot, not the cloud bot. Forgot to turn it on. But Streamlabs uh, chat bot works, just not the cloud bot. All right, what am I supposed to do? Um, that it? So, what now? You see something here. It's weird because, uh, I mean, I already ha I kind of already have one though. Uh, Fortnite. Now I don't even know what to do because like you just say nothing, you know, else after the fucking briefs. You see something here? I'm not sure if like the mission soft locked or you see something. Kind of trying to look up look up the mission because like I did not get shit after this. Still here, guys. I'm kind of looking up something. All right, so I I got into the fucking car. I should got something like I should like. Like the mission I just watched, like I need to take him to the airport, but I didn't get the. Not sure if that's like a glitch or something, or maybe it still work. I don't know if like the mod is soft locked or. Because there should be some more directions.
I guess I can try to take him to the airport and see if that works. Because, like, in the mission video that I just watched, you know, the directions came up where I had to take him to the airport, so. Can I try to take him to the airport? Because I have no idea what's uh, causing the soft lock. Like, no idea, no clue. Just weird. I don't know what to do. I think the mission might be soft locked because uh, this guy has two M16s. Or maybe this is like a cutscene model or some shit. Let's see. I'm kind of troubleshooting right now. Alright, so. Do I have to like kill every single one of these fucking guys? I probably have to kill every single one of those, uh... Oh, I think I know what it is. I didn't kill all the fucking SWAT guys. I have to kill all of them. I kinda just panicked and got out of there. So let's try that again. I think I know what to do now. I know exactly what to do now. Like, why kill all those fucking guys? Why, why not just go to the fucking airport? Whatever. It is what it is. That's the way she goes. sit through these long unskippable cutscenes again. It's probably another thing I don't like about this mod is just the unskippable cutscenes. But I guess they're not too long. I mean they're reasonably length. So it is what it is. Yeah, I think I have to kill all the SWAT operatives there, and then I'll get some more directions on how to get out of there. Ideally, I could have drove back, but killed all and killed the last few operatives, but this is okay, I guess. To do. All right, round two or three. Now I can go to the fucking F4. It's getting a little worried there.
Yeah, I think, uh, what's his face? Ray says that, didn't he? The planning of these characters in these games is so poorly done. Yeah. Oh, these characters do this shit last minute. Cops like, oh shit, he's in a cutscene. Let's just walk away and pretend nothing happened. They wait patiently for me to exit my cutscene here. Fucking jump on me. Yeah, I might get like a phone call or some shit. Mm, we'll see. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Jen. Hey, Fringe. Yeah, I decided to, uh, throw in a stream on this Labor Day, because why not? Uh, we shouldn't be too far from the end, though. We should be able to finish it probably today. Seemingly today. But we'll see how this plays out. Um, I was doing these missions offline, and... Yeah, I found out in order to like unlock the next main mission, I have to, you know, finish some of these side missions. So, since we're on this island, we're going to do this toy uh, mission section. Hopefully, uh, you guys can hear me well and uh, the game audio isn't too loud or the music isn't too loud. Everything is uh, balanced, hopefully fine on your end well that's good that's that's what we want oh yeah and by the way fringe uh a person in this game from another game is going to be your nemesis. You'll see, you will see in a little bit who that person is.
Yep, right there. Berkeley. I did kind of tinker with the settings a little bit. Uh, I lowered the game audio uh, on my computer to about 50 instead of a 400 to see if uh, that will do anything. But we will see. At least you, uh, the my creators give you an idea of what he looks like this time around. You gotta love these classic uh, RC missions, right? Huge staple of the GTA games, the 3D era GTA games. A JoJo food song, I see. Gotcha. Let me drop down here. Hopefully my bandit doesn't like fall in the water or some shit. It's kind of a sturdy little thing, isn't it? Don't hit the don't hit any cars, just just the Yakuza. I can just drive into this car and it'll explode. more person to go. I gotta be careful. So how's everybody doing on this fine Labor Day? Hope everyone's doing all right. I know my European viewers don't have a Labor Day, but us uh Americans do. Yeah. Having a bur a burger and a baked tater later, all oh, that's Yummy. Homemade burgers are always good. You guys have it on uh, May 1? Sometimes called May Day. Or like the like the villainess from uh from a heel to a kill. Nice. reference can't be that hard you make it sound so uh, self-explanatory buddy sounds like what a, uh, a ghetto version of a uh, Toy Story would be like. Oh. This one there. So did this, uh, did these missions yesterday, by the way. See how long I have left. If I didn't save or nothing, so. Let's do it. Fuck. Uh, this might not work. Uh, 
since I only have two now. And after this, there won't be any more. I can always redo the mission. Nothing of value will be lost anyway. It's not like I'm going to lose all my weapons. Speaking of losing all the weapons, uh, if you beat all the Fight Club uh, mini games uh, in this mod, uh, you will not lose all your weapons, which I think is cool. Hey, Karizan. Welcome to the stream, buddy boy. Hope you're having a good day. I want to just uh, finishing this expansion mod for the game. You know, I'm doing fine on my Labor Day uh, cruising. Hope everything's going well with you. Feeling better? Oh yeah, I think you mentioned that you were probably sick or something. So, I'm glad that you're feeling better. Joanna playing Last of Part 2 and Survivor Difficulty. Hope she's doing well. Hope she's uh, kicking ass and taking names over there. Fighting those infected. There we go, much better. I also have to do something else in this mission too besides blow up these... Oh, I have to steal something. I think I have to steal a tank. A little reminiscent of uh, Surya, Silk, and Vice City. Except... You know, it doesn't have like a self-destruct mechanism thingy. Delta, Indy, Echo. Sniper, I can just... Go. Uh, 
Uh, GG, friends. Don't. Fuck you. Please don't do this to me. Oh, come on, man. They do those missions again. They're not too hard, though. It's whatever. It is what it is. It just sucks that I have to do that again, but... Because that's the first time that happened in this playthrough. The, the very first time that happened. Turn up the gain a bit on my microphone. All I can do is all I can do is lick my wounds and keep it moving. That's all I can do. to this banshee. Red and white. Look at you go, Carizan. These missions aren't too hard, so that's the huge bright side with doing this shit again. It's not like I'm doing like, I don't know, chaos mod or or anything like that. Or just a really difficult mission in general. Cause I would not have a good time. When I pull up, you quiet. You quiet. No one down here too. Okay. You want to kill me? Don't fall into the fucking water. Alright, good. I'll hydrate in a little bit. Alright. There you go. One more victim.
a save. Fuck it. Thank you, prison. Appreciate your applause. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, tougher than, uh, yeah, that was a really tough mission. Tougher than King in Exile and, uh, Fish in a Barrel. Especially tougher than Love's, uh, Disappearance. So word got out that uh, the lead singer of Smash Mouth passed away, unfortunately. Oh, uh, come on. Don't. I'm gonna have to turn down the quality option. At least the recording quality won't be shitty, but I'm gonna have to turn down the stream quality because it's starting to bottleneck now. Let's see if I can. Oh my god, please don't do this to me. Yeah, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna have to fucking... We're back in the green now. Hopefully it stays that way. But... I'm gonna... Still slightly change the settings a little bit. Thanks for welcome back. We're, we're back. But everything's all good now. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to steal that car from the police officer. This is what it is. You just need to get the into the You just need to get into the Twitch streaming position. Look at my dumb ass reading chat and look what it made me do. Whatever. I'm close to the fucking destination anyway, so whatever. I haven't seen that show in like ages, man. Ages. I used to watch a bunch of uh, rerun or reruns on TBS. I don't know if they still air that show in there. They probably air it somewhere else, or you can just watch it on like Hulu or some shit. But yeah, I used to watch that show all the time.
Also, Fringe approved jam too. This song right here. FX used to air that show too. Back in the day. Alright, round two of these fuckers. One of the local channels where I'm from, like, like ABC, Fox, and all that. CBS and shit like that. Like a syndicated rerun of a gen. Or just like a new episode or some shit. CW. And this is back when they. I assume when they were known as like the WB. Before they changed it to CW. And also merged UPN in there too to make that not work. See you, uh, see you soon, Carizan. UPN stands for United Paramount Network. And like certain shows, I was speaking a little bit it's too loud. This section right here. Oh, that tank decided to come in with me too. Shit. But yeah, I think I was talking about uh, UPN and how it, was st it stands for United Paramount Network. Hey Erica, welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a beautiful day today. Do I have pre-rolls uh, disabled? I might, I'm not sure. I can't remember if I got ads when I joined your stream. Then I might have that disabled, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a pretty good song. Billy Joel at his best. But yeah, on the topic of UPN, uh, there's like certain shows that was on that network and then they moved to the WB and then certain shows from the WB moved on to that network. And I guess like they started losing a lot of, you know, losing audience or whatever. And they had no idea what direction it wanted to go. So it just merged into CW along with uh, WB and came its own thing. I'm good, uh, Erica. Uh, how about you? You made pasta? That sounds good. What type of pasta? Like chicken pasta? Chicken Alfredo? Stuff like that? I'm trying to figure out where... I'll have to go to the first island. It's, I think, Portland. To, uh... Do the Fight Club activity. I was about to bring that up, but I, kinda, I got sidetracked. Yeah, like, the very first season of Everybody Hates Chris aired the first season like only aired on uh, UPN before it merged so yeah 
you know, just like with Supernatural, I think it was like the last show that aired on the WB. They didn't keep many UPN shows, if I remember right. Yeah, there's like a, you know, looking at the history of that channel, uh, there's a over, there was like an abundance of shows that kind of lasted about one or two seasons and then got canceled or whatever. So, yeah, they were struggling with like finding their footing somewhere. I think the WB was kind of suffering from that too because there was a couple of like adult anime cartoons uh, that ended up being canceled because like lack of advertising and uh, the fact that you know they didn't know like what identity that they had so both those shows ended up being on Adult Swim I think the Oblongs and Mission Hill I'm not sure if you know of those shows but I vaguely remember those shows being on Adult Swim. I do I all gotta do is just mash the the mouse button and just time it right. Cause this is it like fucking painfully easy to do. And Adult Swim is the is also the reason why Family Guy became popular again. You know, in conjunction with the DVD sales. Ice. I'm gonna bust your ass. I'm gonna bust your ass. No, you're not. I'm about to bust your ass. Yeah, I was talking about you know Adult Swim kind of being the reason why that show became popular once again. I mean, it's kind of ironic, too, because, you know, Seth MacFarlane, he was feeding on uh, getting that show revived once again. And then once it became too big, you know, he got jaded. Now, he's been struggling to, like, move on from uh, Family Guy, but Fox just wants more Family Guy, more Family Guy, more Family Guy. And that's why there's so many Family Guy seasons. He tried to get into the, I guess, big screen world with Ted and that one movie, What's Once Upon a Time in in the Old West or some shit, whatever it's called. And he couldn't really take off like he really hoped. So, and that dude uh, almost got on the plane, like one of the planes that you know crashed to Twin Towers. So. It's crazy that dude cheated death like 
it's just insane. Just a huge butterfly effect that was caused there. Yeah, that. I've seen the first Ted movie. I didn't see the second one though. But I remember enjoying enjoying uh the first Ted movie. I remember when like I used to have my uh, have like the was it the Axe Ted as my gamer tag back in the day on the on Xbox Live back in the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 days. It's crazy. Oh shit, so I guess you get to kill Claude in this mod? Fucking crazy. Amanda Seyfried. Oh, hey, I didn't even know that she was in the that she got swapped. That's a pretty dope. I guess not dope, but that's pretty interesting that she got swapped for Amanda Seyfried. I mean, Amanda Seyfried is a pretty good uh, comedic actress, you know. Like her in Mean Girls. I actually saw Ted at the fucking dollar store theater where I used to work where I used to live back in 2012 with my then GF oh shit uh, I guess that wasn't very fun Different character, but still basically filling the same spot. Yeah, I get you. I get what you mean. Performance ended earlier than I thought. Yeah, don't kill him, I assume. Kill him when it drag the driver out. I guess like I have to pit maneuver it or some shit. Oh, don't drive into the fucking water, you! He stopped. No, he drive into the water, you dumbass. What the fuck, man? He drove into the fucking water. I didn't even have to. I didn't have to pull a trigger or nothing. He just. That's that. <laughs> That's awesome, what? Just did my job for me. Like Friday to next Friday with Chris Tucker and Mike Epps. I forgot the reason why uh, Chris Tucker wasn't in Friday. Was it like a contract thing or some shit or? I think he just didn't want to be typecast or whatever. Yeah. I think he said something like, you know, he didn't want to be known as like the weed head or, or, or something like that. Because despite being a uh, comedic, you know, comedian, he's also has some pretty decent acting chops. I'm not sure if you've seen uh, Dead President. Uh, thought he was good in that. And I thought, and I also heard that he was good in uh, that movie Air with Matt Damon. So, might check. I need to check that movie out since I am a bit of a sneaker fan. So, maybe I can like rent it off Amazon Prime or some shit.
Damn straight, Jen. Are they talking about Maria or... I guess they're talking about Cat. I think they were talking about Catalina. I wasn't necessarily paying attention. Me? Probably was Catalina because... She was kind of involved with that uh, Panlantic stuff. That's the only character I know that's involved with that, so... There's no one from Pan Atlantic in here. I reckon that the Yakuza's would have been there, because after that construction site was took over, the Yakuza's would usually spawn there. Actually, I guess they, they're only there you know, once you take it over. Only for a brief moment. Is this my fucking... Is this my Patriot from, uh, earlier? From, uh, the base game? If that was, then shit, that'd be quite the trip. That one of the cars you save here in this mod. Not sure how that would be done. Actually, I could just probably take the tunnels over there instead. Yeah, since it's like <clears throat> near the near like the bottom, the top of the map on uh, Portland. So let's go down there. Hell no, tunnel no. Drive all the way to fucking shore side of it, but whatever. I'm not gonna go the usual route. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna take the tunnels because that you know waiting on that bridge can be kind of a bitch. So. Be like the city or some shit hello wolfie uh welcome to the stream hope you are having a good day 
welcome, welcome. Just playing this expansion mod for GTA 3, uh, which uh, adds a completely new story to the game, new characters, new activities, and all that. Cool jazz. If you want to check the mod out, type in exclamation point Sendako Chronicles, and you'll get a link to the mod as well as a description of what the mod is about. Bridge still closed after after all this time. Not bridge, but tunnel. That tunnel is open in Liberty City stories, though. So. <clears throat> Who I am. There you go. Skedaddle. Hey, Nafa, good to see you here. Hope you are having a good evening. I was playing this uh, mod. Trying to finish it up. Wait. Not sure if I told you this or not, but sorry that your account got hacked. Just some crazy shit. Guess that's a consolation. Still sucks though. Especially it's like the main one you use. Uh, I think I need to go. I think I need to go to uh, Staunton. Yeah, I probably need to go to Staunton. You need to change your if I had that uh, mod installed. But evidently I don't.
I think I have to drive all the way to First Island. GG on the heist, guys. Yeah, I knew he was about to flee the city. Get to the old tunnel. I assume so, not. I'm not even sure how far I am, but hopefully close to the end. Kill the fuckers, I'll drive around the bakery. Thank you, I, I probably will need it. Get the Georgios boats, boat. Yeah, I figure I'll just run to the end of this tunnel and to get myself a car off the lot and get go there. Or I could be possibly close enough to get to the boat. Actually, yeah, I'm close enough. Whatever. Um, are you okay there, sir? I think I know what this is going to be reminiscent of. I think I know exactly what this is going to be reminiscent of. 
final mission in uh, LCS. Stand up straight. This has final mission written all over it. Ooh, right in the motherfucking head. You're telling me, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even get, I didn't even bother to like go get armor or anything. I just decided to wing it. Thanks for the applause. Fired off. What's this? Thanks, Naffle. Oh shit, I think I was in the market when the mission ended, so, and then it just started a new mission. Oh, there's some armor at this uh, gun store I can run into. I'll go get some I would have gone through there, but I didn't want to attract the attention of the police, so... I got all your own defense space. Damn it. Guess I'll run to the hospital and get some help. Because this could be one of those deal gone wrong type of situations. Or they might pull like a Saints Row 1 or some shit. Damn, no help here. Just wing it, fuck it. Uh, yeah. Uh, we actually just killed them. Believe it or not. Kind of like one of those alternate universe type of deals. Uh, this is set, this is, you know, halfway set after the events of GTA 3, so. No, this is like during and kind of, uh during the events and kind of like a you know alternate universe of like what happens after the events of GTA 3 oh god this song uh sorry Jen I don't know 
call time of resetting. Oh, but I hope I was clear with my explana explanation. Uh oh, I got you, Jen. Yeah, who the fuck is Tommy? Oh, oh, it's end. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Awesome. Thanks for the GG. Let's go to GG Knuckle. Since I can't necessarily script us, get the credits yet. I guess I can go run to the restroom or something. So, BRB. Okay, so that was the Ferrelli Redemption. I guess, like, if I wanted to do, like, extra sit, I could. But that's where I'm going to save it. Um, 
Sit tight, guys. I'm going to switch to something else. Might do some more uh, Game Wars shit in Battlegate Tony. Even though it's not required. It's something, it gives me something to do, so... Sit tight for a little bit.